The American Gaming Association estimates about $150 billion in turnover mm -hmm. uh, available in the grey market bet by Americans today. That translates to about seven or eight billion dollars in revenue to casinos. What the Supreme Court did is that they repealed PASPA, which gave the states the option to create this marketplace. Mm -hmm. Five states today have a f legislation in place uh, to allow sports betting. Happened very quickly. Happened very fast. Right. There's another 11 states coming through the pipeline with legislation in place. But what the Supreme Court didn't do, they didn't flick a magic switch and open up $7 billion of revenue that is addressable today. So it's going to take time for the markets to evolve. What we know is we're not creating demand. Demand exists. What we're looking at is how do we service that in a regulated license framework? And, and that's the step that takes time. And, and, and what, what have you come to? What's your decision on that question that you just asked? What do you think the best way to go about doing this is? Uh, we think um, the market's spoken. Play, you, you, no one controls the consumer anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now they're voting uh, to spend $150 billion through grey markets, offshore bookies, etc. And so we think a licensed regulated framework that enables operators like Caesars, for instance, to offer a great digital product that's the right way to bring taxes back into the U.S. It's the right way to give a safe and fair environment for players. I, I guess the situation, we should explain to people that you remain invisible in this. This is going to look That's like right. a Caesars platform. 100% right. We do the plumbing underneath. So our technology provides all the sports betting transaction engines, for instance, the player account management. Uh, just a little background on our technology. We process around about 80% of all sports betting transactions in the United Kingdom, which is the largest sports betting market. In the World Cup, we provided 177 transactions, 177 million transactions during the World Cup itself. So it's a quite powerful technology, but from a consumer perspective, you won't notice it, you won't see it. It's all about, for instance, in this case, Caesars and how they manage the customer journey through that process. Who, who are your competitors in, in, in this arena? There's a large number of tech businesses, mostly in Europe, that have built out great digital technology. Within scientific games today, though, we have the broader set of technology and we think we're the best position from a license perspective to service the U.S. market. Um, what are the problems that take? People are always worried about problems in sports betting, um, whether people are going to take advantage of the system. Somehow people are gaming, gaming the gaming. People are using uh, or going into debt themselves. What are the things that you do to try to avoid that? And what, what, what are the, the things that people should be watching out for? So I, I tend to break it out into three major stakeholders. We look at the operators. So you need to make certain you have operators with integrity. That's the gaming regulator's job. They go through that process. Then you make certain the tech works, that there's integrity in the tech, that none of our developers have put a little bug in the back door. And then you look at oh, the game. There have been examples not with you, but of that. Yeah, no, that's right. I think all technology has, has its challenges. Um, our technology has gone through more of a rigorous process than I've seen in most industries, including the banking industry. So we have an incredibly well-defined process that we go through the development. And the growth projections very quickly, just for what you expect between now and let's say three years from So now. we've seen over the last 15 years the migration of gaming behavior from land-based analog to digital. It's gone at around 15 to 20 percent year on year worldwide. Mm -hmm. And I think the U.S. is exactly the same. And in fact, it may go more rapidly given the kind of gray market that's already here.